हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अनादर इंपॉर्टेंट अपडेट फॉर ऑल दी गेट एस्पिरेंट्स येस येट अनादर महारत्न पी एस यू पावर ग्रेट अनाउंसिंग इट्स रिक्रूटमेंट फॉर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर स्कोर कार्ड टूडे इज ट्वेंटी नाइन सेप्टेम्बर एंड ऑल्सो द लास्ट डे टू फिलअप द गेट एग्जाम फॉर्म विदाउट लेट फी ओके यू कैन ऑल्सो फिलअप अप टू थर्टीन अक्टूबर बट यू हैव टू पे एक्स्ट्रा अमाउंट सो वाई वाई यू शुड बेयर दैट बट येस यू नो इफ यू वर यू नो एम्बिशियस टू वर्क uh in power grade and uh, definitely if you have not filled the gate exam form you may definitely be aware about this so now let's come up to the notification so when you go to the job opportunity section under the power grade you'll be finding clearly okay the recruitment of engineer trainee 2024 through gate 2024 and you know i have opened this advertisement you can directly click here and there is a detailed advertisement in front of you okay i'll tell you the important bullet points of this advertisement as you all know it's a maharatna psus uh the uh, uh important branches important things see of course you are recruited as engineer trainee and for the branch of electrical electronic civil and computer science disciplines it has been announced okay for this particular time so if you are any of these branches electrical electronic civil and computer science stay tuned and it's more like a detailed notification although proper dates are not given but it's not a short notification also several details are there so let's discuss about those details in this particular notification branches already i mentioned okay now vacancies the main important thing that students are concerned about so details of number of vacancies and reservation shall be indicated in the notification to be published on our website before the commencement of online registration when are they going to start the online registration that also tentatively is mentioned i'll come to that as well okay now eligibility simple valid score in the gate 2024 that is very clearly highlighted since the beginning okay so you know uh, engineer trainee electrical engineer trainee electronics and civil and computer science these are the corresponding gate 2024 paper you should have been filling okay the paper also correspondingly double ec civil ce and computer science right okay all right theek hai so now let's move ahead upper age limit will be 28 as of 31st of december of this particular year 2020 Three and now, if you want to see, because you know what exactly your branch is, if you want to check for electrical, your branch can be electrical or electrical in power, electrical electronics. That is uh, electrical electronic engineering, triple E branch, power system engineering or power engineering. Similarly, they have mentioned the list. Okay, like for computer science, it is simply computer science or so computer engineering or even IT is eligible. Civil, it is civil engineering for electronics, electronics, electronics and communication, electronics and telecommunication, electronics and electrical, and simply telecommunication engineering branches are also available. But this is the important thing: minimum sixty percent. or equivalent cgpa in the btech is also required here okay so that's normally expected for most of the psu 60% is on lower side only okay now even if you are in final year who expect you are if you are going to expect your result by 14th august of next year you are eligible to apply the final year bhi eligible hai important point pehle hi note karte jaiye okay so you are eligible but still okay once you get the final degree that 60% uh, criteria will be applicable for you as well okay now let's come to some other important points okay let's come to some other important points to be covered here now very very important selection process the number one is the gate 2024 score only but there is also gd and pi that i will tell you okay so these are the papers that already we discussed okay the selection just consists of marks obtained out of 100 in the corresponding paper of gate 2024 ओके जीडी एंड पी आई दैट्स व्हाट आई टोल्ड यू देर आर दीज थ्री एलिमेंट्स व्हाट इज द वेटेज ऑफ ऑल वो भी सारा कुछ मेंशन है ओके इन केस यू नो इफ योर पेपर इज गोइंग टू बी कंडक्टेड इन टू डिफरेंट स्लॉट्स ओके लाइक सपोज सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यू नो कंप्यूटेड इन कंडक्टेड इन टू स्लॉट्स आई डोंट नो व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन ऑफ 2024 इट इज नॉट येट अनाउंस बट अगर किसी का पेपर टू स्लॉट्स में होता है तो नॉर्मलाइज्ड मार्क्स विल बी आउट ऑफ 100 विल बी कंसीडर्ड ओके normalized marks will be considered that is also a very natural thing uh, that you should know okay now as i told you as i told you candidate shortlisted for the gd and interview shall be required to bring the documents and very important thing very important thing there is a qualifying percentage in the interview okay whatever total marks they fix for interview suppose 100 marks you should have got minimum 40% that is 40 marks in the interview okay so that is the essential thing that you note okay in minimum 40% in whatever marks they want to total marks they want to keep for interview they can keep but total 40% is required there is some relaxation for of course obc sc st pw that is up to the 30% now look into this what is the weightage of these different parameters okay major weightage is of course gate marks so 85% is for your gate marks ओके थ्री परसेंट इज फॉर जी डी सो दैट्स वेरी मिनिमल इतना आप हैंडल कर लोगे ओके एंड 
12% is for interview. Okay, now of course, how to plan for this GD and uh, interview for uh, the PSUs? Okay, because several PSUs conduct a P uh, interview and some of them also conduct a GD. We can discuss it. Okay, we can guide you also. But after the gate exam, first priority is gate 2024. Okay, marks go maximize can I? because 85% goes to that. Okay, the 85% weightage goes to that. Right, some other important points. Okay, a very, very important points. Okay, that you are always interested for. That is the compensation package. Bhaiya, paisa kitna milega. Okay, Axpo, Maharatna PSU, we all know. And sabse pehle, first thing, keep in mind. It's a PSU, that to power grid. Okay, stable job. Sabse pehle, rakne, it is a stable job. Okay, nothing is more important than that. Now, selected candidates will be placed in the pay scale of 40,000. Okay, to 140,000 during the one year training period. Okay, they shall be paid the stipend. Okay, for the training period in the form of basic pay of 40,000 along with IDA, HRA and perks at 12% of basic pay during the training period. Now, okay, on successful completion of the training, which most of the candidates do okay they'll be absorbed as an engineer in the e2 scale you'll be absorbed as an engineer in the e2 scale 50000 to 1 lakh 60000 okay now they will also be of course basic pay to ho gai, but da okay all the perks and allowances okay like cafeteria performance related pay company leased accommodation company quarters or hra if you want to uh, if you don't want to go for company quarters you can claim hra reimbursement of monthly conveyance expenditure mobile facility laptop facility pf gratuity pension leave encampment group insurance group personal accident insurance etc along with the stability see always when you are working in psus or even the central government wherever okay you should not only look in the number that the amount that basic pay you are getting but over and above that lots and lots of salary i mean Normally, a private employee, a private company employee will have a lot of expenditure that doesn't uh, happen with a PSU or a government employee. Okay, that you have to take into account. A lot of things is in already your pocket because many of the things are directly provided by the government to you. And also at the same time, again, keep into the mind the stability. Okay, the stability criteria. What are the stable jobs? Okay, okay. Unlike the private. Okay, of course, in many PSUs, uh, including power grid, there will be a service agreement bond. Okay, that is for a period of three years, I think. Uh, normally, it should be. Yeah, for three years, there's a three years and the bond amount is 5 lakh. Okay, now, of course, you have to register for gate 2024. Your gate 2024 registration ID will be definitely required when you're going to fill up. Now, this is what I told you, na? they have mentioned the tentative date also. Application window for power grid should be open from 16 Jan 2024 to 18 February 2024. This is tentative, they may change, but still they have indicated that January, February be prepared. And as they mentioned earlier also in the earlier part of the notification that whenever their online process is going to start, sometime before it, the exact number of vacancies will also be updated to you. But 2024 year, we are expecting more number of vacancies okay okay now uh, let's come up to the next important point uh, yeah okay now gate 2024 online application as you know closing date is just today that is 29 september in case you still uh, you know have not filled up uh, by chance okay and if you want see step by step day by day psg notifications are coming up and list will increase we know okay so you can still fill it up okay uh, today itself or with a submission of late fee or eligible to fill till 13th october but i don't usually suggest it jitna jaldi karo don't spend any extra money here on these processes at least okay so commencement of online application of uh, uh, application to power grid already i told you 16 january and uh, it will be there till 18 february but these are tentative in nature okay these are what these are the tentative in nature okay so this is what is the notification okay now whenever the number of vacancies and exact online process date will start okay we'll definitely update you okay but all these notifications of course uh, they are meant to notify you no doubt but they are also meant to motivate you because lots and lots of opportunity with gate and it will keep adding okay many vacancies will come okay after after gate exam conducted there will be separate exams also so don't be late okay don't only think that whatever maybe five six or seven psus announced till now there will be n number of psus if you don't fill the form right now and it's not about uh, direct only psus through gate there are several separate exams okay you can expect isro exam nic exam bark exam and several exams maybe like hpcl or hcl etc if you're not prepared with gate all those exams coming in short notice like one month or two month notice you will not be able to prepare so be prepared for gate you are prepared technically sound all the best thank you this is Lakesh Salraida signing off.